Instagram family and welcome back to our on-demand class. Before we get started, we wanted to let you know that this warm-up is specifically written with our M30 program in mind. We have created an experience that allows for the warm-up, workout, and cool-down to be completed in 30 minutes or less. If you're an athlete that's looking for a more thorough warm-up, then we recommend hopping over to our M60 program where you can check out our typical warm-up routine there. All right. Let's get rolling. Mayhem family, what's going on? We got an exciting workout today for you. We got our athletes back here chomping at the bit just to go at it. We have Nancy today. Classic grit and grind workout. We got three fun options. Take you guys through it. Let's go on. So for the three options today, we're gonna start off with our body weight option. Wayne here will be doing five rounds of 200 meter run and do a 15 squat and reach. So Wayne will show us this three squat and reach all the way down, pressing up overhead, reaching full extension. Perfect, Wayne. He's excited. Then we're gonna go into our minimal option, okay? For this one, we're gonna have five rounds. We're gonna go into a 400 meter run for Christy here, and then into 14 single arm dumbbell overhead squats. So it's gonna be seven on her right or left, whatever she starts with, into seven on the opposite arm. So Christy will just uh, demo, just a single arm dumbbell overhead squats. Perfect. Pressing out nice and strong overhead, reaching full depth and standing all the way up. You can squat snatch the first rep up in the air and get right into it, or you can power snatch and then begin your squat as well. Perfect. Chrissy's excited as well. She loves to run. Then Jake here, our strong brute, he's going to be doing the M60 version, which is Nancy, the traditional five rounds, 400 meter run into 14 overhead squats, 95 pounds for men, 65 pounds for ladies. Jake will just hit just one simple overhead squat for us with the barbell. He's very excited as, you know, for this one as well. His wife is named Nancy too, ironically, so it's perfect. And again, same, uh, the same option as well. Jake can either power snatch the weight up and go, or he can squat snatch, get into his first rep. So before we get into that for you, let's take you through a nice little warm up. We're gonna have our athletes go through, and you as well, a little 10 yard, little break, kind of broken down into like a half henshaw warm up here. So we're gonna go 10 yards walking on our toes. Athletes gonna be up on their toes, walking, nice and easy, try and get your calves loosened up. Then you're gonna go backwards on your toes. You're gonna walk backwards on, on your toes here. Again, trying to get your ankles nice and loose for you making sure it's ready to roll. You're gonna be doing a lot of running today. Now we're gonna do the bathroom walk, so up on your heels, like gotta go to the bathroom. Okay, you're pinching, you're just walking. I mean, come on, we've all, we've all been there. And we're just gonna go 10 yards with, with this. And then from there, you're gonna turn around. So you guys, you guys can stop there, we're gonna go 10 yards. Then we're gonna go feet turned out on this one. So feet turned out, your feet are gonna be turned, toes turned out, heels turned in. Walk in. Call this one the cowboy walk. Wayne knows this one. Then we're gonna do it reverse. Now we're gonna go pigeon toed. You're gonna turn your toes in, heels out. Okay. This one just something's really wrong. Okay. But again, getting everything nice and loose. Now we're gonna go into a lunge to a reach. So you're gonna step forward, then you're gonna reach your hands nice and strong, tall, overhead pressing through and then standing all the way up to the top. If you're not comfortable with bringing your knee to the floor, don't force it, just go down as low as you comfortably can. Okay, it's very important on that. You don't wanna overstress it, nothing like that. Just trying to maintain that 90-90 and stand. Once you hit the 10 yards, you're gonna do the same thing coming back with the lunge, but now you're gonna grab your front, or you're gonna grab your wrist and turn towards your front leg. So you're gonna lunge, grab your wrist, turn towards your front leg for half a second, and then back to straight. Don't wrench it. I want to break your back prior. Trying to get out of the workout. Nice job, guys, nice job. Once you go 10 yards, we are now going to go into the bear cross. We're going to get in the primal stage here. We're going to growl like a bear. We're going to go 10, 10 yards here, okay? Keeping your arms as much as close to locked like as you can. It's almost like a shoulder shrug. As you're going, you're making sure you're trying to move your arm or your leg with your arm as you're walking as well. Again, just stepping and stepping. You guys warm? You're warm at home? 
So now we're gonna go into the second part of the warm up. We're gonna go through three rounds. Athletes, you are gonna go through a 100 meter run, or if you're not able to run, you wanna stay you know, here by the TV or so, we're gonna do 30 seconds of just high knees. So you go at 30 seconds just high knees. Once you hit your 100 meter run or 30 seconds of high knees, you're gonna go into five dynamic squat stretch. So Jake here is gonna show us what the dynamic squat stretch is. Keeping his legs as straight as he can at the top, then he's gonna pull himself down into a squat and just extend into that straight leg deadlift at the top. So if you notice here, Jake's arms pretty much stay close to locked out the whole time, okay, or extended. Okay, if you need to give a little bend, that's fine, but you really wanna pull the hips low and drive the knees out, keeping that chest nice and tall at the top. Once you're done with that, you're gonna do 10 air squats. Now, for the body weight, okay, if you're doing our um, minimal option with the dumbbell, you're gonna do three each side, lightweight single arm dumbbell overhead squat like Christy performed earlier. Or if you're doing the full Nancy version, you're gonna be doing barbell. Okay, so you can either warm up with some front squats or start practicing into the overhead squat. So again, three rounds, 100 meter run or 30 seconds of high knees, 10 dynamic squat stretch, into 10 air squats or the three each side or the overhead squat. We're gonna get the clock rolling. We're gonna try and keep this around seven minutes or so. It's not a sprint. We want you to enjoy it, but somebody's gotta win. Whenever you guys are ready, you may go ahead and begin at home as well. Now, as you're doing this as well, Nancy, like we know, it is a running workout. So with Jay, Christy, and Wayne, they can actually start to see their pace if they're running on a true form, air runner, whatever you have available, or if you're running outside, you may have your watch with you. And you may want to think about, okay, start dialing into my pace a little bit. And that's kind of what you're trying to establish within these three rounds is what am I gonna run during my 400 or, or a 200? What, what, you know, what is my pace? And that's something in this that's very important. Nice guys, good. 10 dynamic squat stretches. This is one of my favorite hip openers as well. It's a great way to really think about getting your squat nice and low, getting your chest up, ankles are getting nice and loose as you're going through it. So really emphasize trying to pull the hips low, drive the knees out. After about round two or so, it's gonna feel like butter. You're just gonna slide right into it. And then, yep, then your air squats will be nice. And then too, you know, like for Jake and Christy, and you know, for you as well at home, you're trying to think about for your squatting, whether you're doing the dumbbells or the overhead, finding that sweet spot. Because we all know what overhead squat can do. The first couple reps is all about grooving in. So think about shoulder position. Staying nice and open, pressed up securely to the ceiling with your arms. And also a good steady breathing pattern is very important as well. You don't wanna, you don't wanna pump through it. You just wanna breathe, stand and breathe, stand and breathe. Good job, good movement, good movement. If you have runners at home too, and you're able to do this, things that you're thinking about running, which are all doing a great job, is keeping your hips in line with your torso. You don't want to get caught into this reach position and you feel like you're always chasing. You want to think about pulling your hips underneath of you, staying upright and staying nice and relaxed as you're moving. Something that Henshaw did a great job teaching athletes about as well. They really enforce, that'll help the longevity of running. You guys getting warm? Warm at home? Good, glad to hear it. Can't just dive into it nowadays. Nice. And you know, when you're squatting, a couple things I always tell athletes to really focus on, whether you're air squatting, back squatting, front squatting, really emphasize your foot position. You know, the old, uh, the old method is, hey, just keep your heels flat on the ground and stuff. Some athletes think about pulling their, their toes up. Well, through time, they've actually found that that's you don't want to pull your toes up. You want to keep your toes screwed to the ground the whole time. You're trying to create torque. You're trying to create tension as you squat. Keeping that big toe planted with the heels as you squat, you're trying to grip the floor and squat the whole time. Really thinking about keeping the hip pocket or your hip pockets open as you're going, which will help a lot. Nice job. Nice job. We're cruising. 
I'm cruising. We can extend this to five rounds even. That way you guys get the full feel. Ah. Uh. If you have never done a dumbbell overhead squat before, and let's say this is the option that you're doing at home, you don't have a barbell, but you do have a dumbbell, different things that you can think about doing. You can think about just going to a single arm dumbbell squat. You can place on your shoulder and squat, you can do the dumbbell front squat as well. It is a very tough movement. In my opinion, it's harder than just the regular overhead squat. So if you've never done it before, but it's the option like that you're gonna try, make sure you take it light. Okay, go lighter than you think, because it will get harder. Okay, so you want to find just like where that sweet spot is and establish that within your warm up. All right, if the warm up gets done, you're still feeling a little hairy with it, then definitely make sure you take some of those scaling options. It'll help a ton. And this workout, you know, for you as well, this is going to be a longer one. You know, it's not a workout where it's one in the first round or even the second round. It's all grit. It's all grind. It's all about establishing a pace and trying to maintain, see if you can have like, like timed rounds as it goes on or similar round times. Jake is working his way up in weight, which at home as well, which you may want to think about as you're going through this warm up, is adding in a little bit of weight so that way you can get right into the workout because you should be pretty warm. Okay. Christy as well, she's, she's grooving in, getting a lot more comfortable. Wayne's dialed in on his air squats. You should start to be feeling your hips start to get looser as well. Let Jake hit his last rep here. Money. We're good. How you guys feel? Everybody feel good? We're good to go? We're good to roll? So after the warm up, make sure you take a break, okay? Obviously, we're not gonna dive like right into it. Get some water, okay? Tell your family that you love them. You get ready for this, because it's gonna be a fun one. Okay, so now what you guys are gonna start getting into as far as what weight you wanna use. Wayne, you already know movement-wise, you just know at home body weight. It's just gonna be the air squat, or, or the squat to reach as well. Christy's kinda of dialed in on the weight that she's using, and again, you as well at home. What dumbbell am I gonna use? Where, where am I most comfortable? Jake is grooved in on the squat snatch. Same rules apply there as well. You know, work up if you need to, okay, or take it down, because we're doing 15 reps every single time. Now remember, for the single arm dumbbells, it's seven on each arm. It does not matter what arm you start with each time. Okay, so if you wanna go right arm, left arm, and then the next round you come back and you wanna go left arm, right arm, that's fine. But you must do all seven on one before you go seven to the next. Let's make that clear. Okay, so you can't go seven, break, and then seven again. However, one arm is hurting, you gotta go one arm over, the other arm here, options as well to take it down. So now that we're here and we're gonna start getting ready, I'm like for, you know, I'm like for the workout, think about, ro think about rotation, think about how you're gonna get off the rower, and, or the rower, the runner, and get ready to work. We wanna try and keep you dialing down your run, maybe the last 50 meters or so, you start to pace it down a little bit to allow you to get right to work. You do not wanna come off of that runner hot. That's a big thing where athletes tend to fail on is when they're coming up to a weighted movement, barbell, dumbbell movement, they get in, the heart rate is through the roof, and they spend 20 or 30 seconds in this position trying to gather themselves. You want to dial it in, pace it down, and then be able to get right to work. All right, I've procrastinated enough long enough for you guys. Are we ready to go now? I think we are. So five rounds again. Wayne has 200 meter run for the uh, body weight option, you'll have a two, 200 meter run, 15 squat to reach, okay? If you're doing the minimal option, you have five rounds, 400 meter run, 14 single arm dumbbell overhead squats, seven and seven. If you're doing the full Nancy for the M60, you have the 400 meter run, 15 overhead barbell squats, 95 pounds for men, 65 for ladies, this is the recommended weight. Let's have some fun and burn it down. To your running marks. Ladies and gentlemen. Everybody excited? Hey, okay, let's get it moving. Let's try and keep our round time similar. Try and come out on that first round a little bit conservative and see if you could hold on or, in the, or, or sorry, and then start to pick up the pace. Going in, 10 seconds. Good luck. Good luck. And have fun. That's always the focus. Three, two, one. Go. And we're off. We're rocking and rolling. 
during these runs, okay, you want to think about too. These are these are longer runs, all right. Even even like with the 200 meter run as well, you know, like for Wayne and stuff as well. This is a longer run. It's not you know just a sprint. Okay, relax, settle into it. If you got some good music, get it playing. Okay, get your heart rate under control because you're going to be in this for the long haul. If you look over too with Christy. A nice relaxed position, okay? She's staying nice and relaxed like with her shoulders, really trying to settle in, keeping her wrist and her arms in line like with her chest. She's not drop, she's not dropping karate chopping onions, okay? She's staying nice and upright, keeping the hands relaxed. Jake is doing a phenomenal job with, you know, with it as well. He's dialing in, his feet are landing in the consistent spot, and that's exactly what we want you to do. Okay, we want you to be consistent with your steps. Runners can kind of squeeze you in a little bit, so you may feel like you're kind of swaying. Settle in, focus in on something, and just try and hold that position with a good cadence. Nice job. As you approach, like I said, as you approach that last 50 meters or so, really think about dialing it down. Dialing it down, slow down that pace just a little bit. That way you can get off your runner comfortably and be able to get right to work. Okay, that's what we want. We want to be able to get right to work on this and then turn around and try and simulate that for the next four rounds. So, it's a fun one. New and good. Nice, Wayne, nice shot. Nice shot. A nice, smooth pace. Find that sweet spot, great. Good work, good work. Good. Uh, Wayne's doing great too. He has a great cadence. You got. That's what we want, great cadence with it. Make sure you're down and up. You're moving, you're breathing, breathing that top. Christy's rolling, okay, she's finding that sweet spot with it. Rocking and rolling through, breathing, staying nice and stable. If you're doing the squat snatch, or sorry, the overhead squat version of this, as Jake is doing as well, all about stability. We know what the overhead squat demands. We know it's such a core, low back intensified movement and the old, uh, and mixed in with the overhead. Okay, so again, find that sweet spot early on. Once you feel it, you want to dial right into it and go. Pacing, you see that pace, you see how that goes. You want to make sure you look at that clock and see if you can simulate that as you're moving. Okay? Make sure Jake stays a little close with this. Great job, we're moving great. Hey, moving great. We're into that second round. You kind of already know what you're into. And now reality starts to settle in. Nice job, nice job. Doing good. We're moving. Keep your heart rate under control. Keep your heart rate down. It's easier said than done, but again, just always want to reiterate that back. The second, third, and obviously the fourth round are gonna be the rounds to where you really, really have to hone it in. Okay, because like we said, you start to get caught up in, oh, this already hurts and stuff, and that's where mentally you wanna just keep yourself strong, okay? You just wanna think about little things, get your mind focused on not how much it hurts, but just the task given at hand. Okay, you got the squats coming up, you really wanna think about, okay, am I gonna squat snatch and go right, you know, like right into it? Focus on my breathing. Try and make those points to hold on. Or try and keep those points, sorry. Nice, Wayne. Dial it down, dial it down. Dial down that run, off that runner. Give yourself a little 10 second, maybe buffer, and then try and get right to work with it. Nice job, Christy, nice job. Hey, moving great. Nice, Wayne, good, consistent pacing. If you notice here with Christy as well, she has that opposite arm kind of caked out a little bit. And that's exactly like what, what we want. That's gonna help with stability, okay? Get that, or get that opposite arm out, okay? Help keep those shoulders square, and it really helps focus on an upright position as well. Nice, right to work on the barbell. Great position, great, great catch. Exactly, I'm like, what, exactly what we're looking for with this one. Nice, Christy, nice, Wayne. Good work, good work. We're breathing, we're grooving. It is what it is in, the, in this workout, it is. 
Once you get through that first round, you kind of already know your pace, you already know the tone, you just try and maintain. Nice shot, Jake. Nice shot. Good. Good job, guys. Nice and relaxed. Heck. Beauty. Beauty. With overhead squatting, things again you really want to focus in on too is your eyes. Generally where your eyes are going to go, your chest is going to go. So if you, if, if you have a habit of keeping your eyes down, that's a position you don't really want to focus too much on as far as eyes down. Your eyes should be neutral because if I have my eyes down and I'm squatting, I start to get into this position, my chest is falling forward, the weight starts to pull over top of my head, and then I'm bar chasing. If you keep your eyes up, you keep it fixated forward the whole time, the chest is nice and tall, you can groove right into a good position here, and it's all about overhead stability then. Okay, staying upright, keeping the weight stacked over the, the radius, okay, your forearm, and over top of your midfoot. Okay, so really hone in on that. It's a very, very uh, flexible, demanding movement. So again, you really want to try and establish that, that early. Now, if you're a good runner, runners can generally do well in this type of a workout, obviously given that they can still move the weight, dumbbell, barbell. So cater to your strengths. You know, if you're a good runner, settle into that 70, 75% effort and try and ma maintain. If you're not a good runner, okay, it's just not something that you're comfortable with, then you really want to make sure that you lighten that pace up just a little bit. Okay, you don't want to come out hot because the worst thing you could do is burn out in that very first round. Nice job. Everybody doing good. We're holding. Okay, we're caking through that round three. About to hit that round four. Nice shot. Good job, Jake. Good job, Chris. Nice, Wayne. Nice shot. Hey, Wayne. Moving through, keeping everything flowing. This is actually Christy's first time doing this, and look at her. Hey, first time doing a dumbbell overhead squat, like she's been doing it for years. Nice, Jake. Good job. Good job. Hey, boy. That oh boy. Good. And again, cadence is key. Cadence is key. One thing on an overhead squat, too, that really adds up is how long your is time under tension. If you're taking a long time to go through your squats because you're pausing, you're pausing for five seconds overhead every time, you're looking at almost a minute of holding that bar overhead and that's what you don't want to be at. You just want to make sure you complete the rep, stand all the way up, deep breath, and right back down. Okay, if you get caught up in holding, then everything starts to shake and you're putting your body under duress and it's just slowly breaking down faster and faster. Okay, so again, if you find that sweet spot, get into it, get it moving, and then go. We're in the fourth round. This is the hold on stage. This is where we just try and maintain. In my opinion, it's the hardest round. Fourth round of, or fourth round of a five round workout, it's always the hardest round. Get through it, okay? Hold your pace, stay relaxed as much as you can, and then try and finish it out strong. Great job, great job. Good. Wayne is holding a nice consistent pace too the whole time through. He's been keeping his, his foot cadence relatively the same the whole time until the last little bit. Christy, same thing as well. Her cadence really hasn't changed much at all. Okay, the only thing that she has maybe done a little bit is just like when she slows it down and even that's pretty much the same as well. Okay, Jake, same thing. Okay, we're staying nice and relaxed with the shoulders. Okay, again, really trying to emphasize not death gripping as well because we got to hold that barbell overhead. Okay, so get into it. We're on that last round. You're doing great. You're almost there. Okay, we're on that fourth round. We're almost to the last. This way, nice. Chrissy, good. Way to breathe. Way to breathe through it. Keep moving. Keep moving. Come on. Come on. Hold that pace. Hold that pace. Nice. And with the dumbbells too, as you're going, you don't have to set it down, okay? You don't have to bring it all the way down the ground when you're switching arms. You can hand it right off to the next arm, okay? Obviously, you cannot just assist 
assist with the overhead squat with your opposite arm. So again, you know, you can just bring it back down to the hang, squat, snatch it right into the next, and keep it rolling there. Nice, nice job, nice job. We're grooving, we're almost there. Last round, last round. Okay, we're pushing. Nice shake, come on. Hit these, then you're on your last round. Good. Nice, easy cadence. Good tempo the whole way through. Perfect squat position. Good. Really nice. Good. We've all been there. We all know what that feels like. Okay, just no matter what, you're gonna try and hit the 15 unbroken. You may just kinda settle in just a little bit more, but again, last set, okay? It's whatever's left in the tank here. Again, you don't wanna sprint that last two, 400, but if you're feeling it, you feel a little good, maybe the pace picks up a little bit, but you still wanna make sure you slow down the last couple meters before you get to work on the very last movement, or your very last set. Okay, so again, nice shot, Wayne, nice shot. Nice shot, Casey. Moving and grooving. Good. Pacing, stay relaxed, keep your hands loose, keep your hands loose. Okay, like you're holding potato chips. Don't wanna break them, you don't wanna break them. They got a great time going, okay? If you're moving at home as well, okay, Nancy is one of those workouts, like I say, it's a grind workout, but you, be, you, you will be surprised on how fast the rounds actually kind of go. It seems like it is forever, but it actually moves faster than you think. Let's go, let's go, come on Wayne, come on. Last set right here, buddy. Last set, three through, reaching full extension. Nice job, you're almost there, Christy, this is it. Seven and seven, seven and seven. If you're on this last round, make sure you're still withholding that standard all the way through. Good. Winding up that last run, Jake. Nice swing. There we go. A little jump at the end. Make sure you let them know. Good job, buddy. Good work. Good work. Nice shot, Chrissy. Breathe through. Breathe through. At a girl. Christy. Nice. Nice job. We did it. Look at that. Here goes Jake. Take that cadence, okay? Five, six seconds. And deep breath, right into it. Nice, good sweet spot, nice job, nice job. There's two, there's three. Come on, come on, let's go. There's four. Nice, five, 10 left. Come on, six. There you go, seven. Come on, eight, nine, that a boy. There's 10, there's 10, keep moving, keep moving. 11, we're almost there, 12. Come on, 13, there you go, 14, one more. Look at that, heck yeah, nice shot. Nice shake. Good job. Not even tired, good job. We made it, we made it, I did too. Take your guys' time. Yeah, take your time at home after this, like I said, it's a longer type. Hey, let your heart rate settle down, walk around if you need to. Okay, take a sip. Don't, don't smoke. Hey, don't do anything like that. Yeah, okay, don't do that. You don't, hey, just breathe, relax. Okay, I'm gonna start with Wayne. She got done first. Okay, let's kind of talk through. Wayne, how'd it feel? Feels great, feels great. Feel good? Running still ain't my thing, but hey, it's good. Hey, you look good. good. You held through the whole time though. Your pacing was consistent the whole way through. Did you see your rounds? I mean, were you keeping about the same time? I mean, looked it, like it. It didn't look like it, felt like it. Yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, I, my my run pace stayed the same. Gotcha. Right at that two minute mark. That's perfect. Just a, few, just a couple seconds under. And did that feel comfortable? You know, like we it say. Was, it was comfortable for good. me. It was comfortable good. for me. Good, and yeah, like I said, you hold that all the way I through. Staying, I was staying up with Christy. She was doing twice yeah, the run. Yeah, that's the one. Like I said, if you're the runner, okay? Christy here. Christy, again, what'd you think? First time? I thought it was great, like I could push the run hey. just to get to this. Nice shot. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this burned like super lots, but you yeah. had to push through not too many reps. It was good, it was like seven and seven yeah. too, you know, you kinda now like uh, did you feel like one arm better you know, like than like than the other? Likely, but then did you ever change it? Like I'm starting with my right, now you kinda kept the same. But then same. starting in round two, the whole movement started to feel easier because you kinda 
you kind of grooved in, right? Yeah. Yeah. The legs still hurt, but it felt good. Yeah. Now, like, as a runner, any tips as far as, you know, from, like, there? I mean, like, you know, just kind of, like, things, like, you could point out, like, hey, you know, maybe if you're good at a 400, this is where you want to look at. Okay, I'm trying to hold a good 300, then settle down, or no, just, just or just send it. Just pushed it hard, but whenever there was about 10 seconds left, slow up a little so you can just walk straight to this and pick it up. Perfect. I love that. I'm a big fan of slowing things down when it, you know, like when it comes to it. Jake, he's finally re recovered a little bit. What'd you think? Well, Your wife would be proud. <laughs> no. Uh, just run consistent. For me, it was just breathy on the run. Then overhead squats, just light enough where you can probably hang on, maybe yeah. two sets at most. You just gotta breathe for a second at the top, halfway, and then try to turn through the rest and just walk in your transitions, get going immediately. How many times have you done this, would you say? I mean, I, I mean, like roughly. Maybe right? as many as people think, probably. But three like, or four. okay, okay. Yeah. But now, would you say, I mean, you've done it pretty much the same way like every time, unbroken. You know, have you tried changing like anything up? I know that you're a big fan of negative pacing yeah, and stuff. I don't know if that's, but. First was a little hot and the last one I caught back up. But definitely like, yeah, try to go, start a little slower in the first run, you think. You have plenty of time to run. Feel it out a little bit. This is a run workout if this overhead squat's okay. So yeah, it's all about run pace, overhead squats you can hang on to. It is, and you know, and kind of like I was saying too, the workout does go by faster like than like than you think. You look at it on paper, you're like 20, 30, you know, like 30 minute workout. You get that first round done, you kind of shock yourself like a little bit, like oh, you start mathematically figuring it out. But again, you grit grind through. We made it through. We're gonna stretch out a little bit. We're gonna cool it down. What we're gonna have athletes do is just a little minute or just a little two minute cool down walk. So. We're gonna have you guys hop on your runners if you have them at home or you're just gonna go on a two minute walk. You can walk in place. Don't do the high knees, anything like that. Cool it down. You just do the little steps in place. You can walk backwards even. Sometimes it's a good way to release tension as well through your quads, your knees, and stuff like that as well. So, two minutes, okay? You can check your stocks, anything like that. Call your family up, let them know you made it. Hey, yeah, yeah, you're still here, you're still kicking, will's intact. Hey, we're good. We are good. Oh. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's like, uh, this is one of those workouts, again, if you can, if you can establish that pace early on and that first round feels good and you can, it, it almost kind of it almost kind of gives you like a confident boost. If it goes better than than you think off the start, you're like, okay, now I know where I'm at. I know what I have to do to hold on, and you know you can hold it through. It's such a big thing. If you come out too hot in that first round, the workout kind of just slowly breaks its way, just kinda, slowly wears its way down on you, okay? and you don't want that. You don't you don't want to get broken after the first round. And once you guys hit your two minutes, I know you guys still have a little bit of time, but we're gonna make our way out here and we're gonna do the pancake stretch. So, you know, you got, you got a little bit, but the pancake stretch, take your legs, you're gonna go out wide with them. And from here, you're gonna reach forward in between. Don't force it, don't try and snap your back down. Nothing crazy, okay? You're not trying to impress anybody here. You're just relaxing, breathe into it, let your body sink into this movement, okay? This is where, you know, the day's winding down, everything's calming down, and then guess what? We get to wake up and do it all over again. So it's gonna pick, it's gonna pick right back up. Okay, yeah. Well, hey, we appreciate you guys following along with us, okay? It's such a great workout. Hey, grab a buddy, grab a friend, you know, get your grandpa, get your grandma, get them in there. Okay, have them, have them do this one. It's so great, especially to have a community. You have three athletes do it as well. So much fun. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out with us today and take care. Great work today. We are so glad that you were able to join us for another challenging and fun workout. If you are already a Mayhem athlete, be sure to log your score in Sugarwad, fist bump a fellow athlete along the way, and leave a comment. If you enjoyed today's workout and are looking to become a part of the Mayhem family, we would love to have you as an everyday athlete doing these types of workouts every day. If you're looking for a more in-person experience, then you can check out the Mayhem affiliate map to see if there's a Mayhem affiliate close to you. Um, just head over to our website, check out the maps, and 
We look forward to seeing you for the next on-demand class.